I know you're born here, mm -hmm. and after spending your whole life in Accra, uh -huh. you decided to come back here. Why would you do that? Because this is the time to enjoy your life. But, uh, you know, for me to, I believe in giving back to your roots. Wow. Giving back to your roots is, had been my dream, right? Because, you see, if you don't give back, these villagers, they are sort of cut off, cut off completely. Here, there was no light, there was no road, there was no water, there was no, uh, there, there's no um, hospital, you know, uh, no police station. So like they were living virtually like, like animals, virtually. But if you are sick, you die. My coming here is to give back society, especially my roots, where I was, uh, I was born. born. This is one of the most difficult interviews uh -huh. we've ever had, because the man that we are interviewing today is a man that he's not a fan of showing off. He's not a fan mm. of letting the world know what he no. has. But, um, you know, when Wadamai is here, I have to make sure that he speaks to me. And you know what I'm doing? It's just more of um, trying to let his story inspire because I know there are so many people who are living life just like him. But I think he needs to be celebrated. You don't think he needs to be no. celebrated? No, no. <laughs> the When I was going to school, I brought in volunteers from Canada, from America, from uh, Germany, young, young graduates, you know. They also asked me the same questions. They asked me, are, are you sure you are from this village? <laughs> or you want to join them? You know, the way you talk, the way you behave, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't seem that we are from this village. I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from this village. I'm not joining them. I'm a native of Boniama, you know. So from that time on, I was able, I built a school for them. I built a computer lab for them. They have, they have internet through um, Adam Kufia Sante. And uh, I gave them light pool from the beginning. That's probably 30 years ago. I bought a light pool. They put the light poles on. We went to see the government, and the government brought the, the wires. Yes. So when I built a house, I built a school also uh, for them. So when I was here, I was like a headmaster here. The teachers have to come to uh, school early because I'm watching you from here. <laughs> the, 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 the children know that I was watching them mm. when, when I was here. Yeah, yeah. I was that's why your, your, your house is opposite the school. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which year did you build this? In fact, about 15, 15 years ago. I, 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 15, not 52, 15, one five, 15 15 years ago, yes. Uh, I, I, I built a school. Uh. I did the, 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 the computer library was last two years. I, I the, com converted a the portion lab. to the, so we have computers in there. Mm. We have the, the uh, Wi-Fi so they can access. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if they were serious, right, yeah. they have a very nice facility. Can even, compete with even, anyone. Even, even the villagers who have come here. A friend, a, a friend of mine built a statue you know, last year. You know, I gave him the design. Like, do, do, it, do it this way. <laughs> last year, he you put the, the statue. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. We can't go in now. Yeah, let's go on vacation. vacation yes. This is a computer lab. Yeah, so, that's it. Since yeah, education is so important yeah, to you. Yeah, sure. That's a part of my legacy. Yeah, so. What does legacy mean to you? Legacy is very important because you, you need a uh, footprint. Footprint, yeah. But by all means, you are not immortal. You will die. Yes, I said this yesterday. That the number of years you live on this earth doesn't matter. But Much yeah. about what you do. This is a portion that we are going to use as a continu continuation of the school. For the school, yes, the primary school and the preschool are coming. So you're going to take it from that side uh, to, to this, this side, side and so that become like a class of schools, right? Mm. Um, now there's water here. I did a water for them, Boho. So I put a tank so that everybody now.
can get the water to his, uh, his or her home now. And this is a borehole that serving the whole community. This one, this very one. I think there, there's a water table under. They never get shot, they never get shot of water. Yeah, so this is also a borehole that I built for them. And uh, I provided them with tank. This is a tank. So there's a machine. It pumps the water up, up. and then it is to everybody who needs the water. During, during the dry season, mm. you have to go searching for water. At that time, when I was here, you know, yes, yeah, so with Carabash, just to scoop, scoop the water. So, uh, you know, but with this one, at least, uh, water is no more scarce anymore here. Yeah. So, that, that, that. This school, this mm. school, mm. I wanted to do something like um, a small program for them. To get, to get the right, small right yeah. here, that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, so I go to, I said, I cram more or yeah, cram more, yeah. We can get some, you know, to come. Just, just for them to be happy going to school, you know. Uh, I mean, we can really have fun, so that there's nothing here. So how to motivate a small girl or small boy to learn? Learn. Who we'll go home? So exactly. I think we get those playgrounds for them a bit, you know. Uh, so, um, that's, that is an, one of my dreams, uh, dreams that uh, I'll get something small for the... the, 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 the I kids. think, can I get that for you? Why not? Let, let me no, get no, that no. for you. I, yeah, I, 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 sure. I want to do that. Oh, good, good, good. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. I'll do that I, for yeah. you. Oh, definitely. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll do yeah. that for you. Thank you. So, which means I'll be back here again. Oh, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah, that's your hometown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I, I, I get worried. When, when I see them wandering around, that's why yeah. I put this in. We'll put, we'll, we'll put a gate down very mm. soon. Okay. okay. I get a small playground for them. You know, that's what attract them to be, to be in the school. Uh -huh, yeah. And uh, I did the community center. I'll roof it tomorrow. Oh, you go and see it. And then the, um, I gave my first building that I built when I was 24 years at Vaku time, 24, 26 years around that time. So, 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 I said, it was a very nice building, but I gave it out to the teachers as teachers' bungalow. Is it the first house you ever built? or? It's my first building in the, in the village when I was 26 years or so. Even when you went to Accra, you still came back when you were 26 to build here. Yeah, to build it's like here. You, you love this place with all your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> That's where I was born. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I can't decide this place. So uh, uh, I, I'm inspired. During I didn't... that difficult times, I was able to come here. Mm. The whole place was forest, the whole area. If you, all this place were forest. forest, monkeys here, all. Oh, I came here first. I don't know what inspired me. Uh, my friend of mine is here. He bought the, I will see that I talk. I bought two, the man who bought it is still alive. I can call him for you to tomorrow, you know. So, okay, I've seen that this uh, building is collapsing. And because they were selling it with, with sheep and goats at that time. The school? The school, yeah, only one school, one small school, for one teacher. I said, okay, so why, why can't I buy two packets of iron seats to roof it for them? Because it was, it was, it was um, um, leaking all over, you know. So as a worker, I said, I don't know what came over me that as a salaried worker, I used my, part of my salary to buy that uh, two packs of iron sheets for them. He's here. Oh. You know, he's sitting down there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. What oh, that's the friend yeah, yeah, you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's actually why. Yeah. Actually, I'm actually, 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 and it's good that you, you, you're still in touch with all these people. Oh, no, no, he's my friend. He's my friend. friend. Yeah, yeah. My, my one friend here is this man. So this is my first house, this one. But when I come, when I come from Accra, there's no place for me to, to lay, lay my head. As a poor guy, I was telling you, so I yeah. okay, why not? Once I'm working, I should be able to put something together. So that when I, at least when I come, 
can get a place to lay my head. Mm. So this is my first burden, you know. At that time, things were very, very, very scarce in Ghana. You know, no, no, nothing, nothing. See, it's a, it's a, the liver brace are wood. Yeah. You know, not a glass. That time, I couldn't even get a glass to buy. So I bought the liver bread. But most of the thing is um, from, is it Touch House, this one? Hmm. Yeah, so this one, I'm giving it out to the, to the teachers, the village teachers. Uh -huh. So they are living here, no rent. Uh -huh, yes. So. At the age of 20. 25. 25 years. You built your first house. Yeah, my first house is still, still here. Later on in life, mm. I build. I thought, okay, I'm, I'm growing a, a bit now. I've got some, a few uh, cities around, so yeah. let me put up a better house. So I built this one. This one. The one down there? This, this very one, yes. Then my father's house, recently, I also you know, put it in good order to give it to uh, the teachers. This is what, where I was sleeping. This is for my father. This is a three, a two bedroom and a whole, you know, a house, not an apartment. So one bedroom here, and that bedroom is there, mm. and the common hall there. So my father gave this one to me, and gave the other one to my senior brother. So from this single room, I went to build my, the same man house over, over there. Uh -huh. So from here, this where, I see this where uh, the, my, my, my manhood began. I mean, some people are seeing this, it looks a bit luxury for now, but I think in the olden days, it didn't look like this. No, 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 I mean, it was a, a man house. Yes, I, I only about um, last year, last year before I took up the roof and did a ceiling and uh, put a door here and painted it. It's at a Kwame house. That's a mad house, pure mad house. Pure that mad time house. there was no block work here, not even a single uh, block work here, and you don't even see um, cemented. This and all was like this, like see this, this one. Oh, almost, this one, yeah. Uh, almost every house, about hundred percent of the houses here was like this. No, 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 no cement. No cement at that time, hundred percent. So you just build, you know, no ceiling, you know, but. I think there was a there was a screen on the floor. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's it. So that, that's how Good. I started. These were the rich people in town. These were the rich people. This man was a, was a, was a, was a rich man. Mm. Uh -huh. So the best one was like this. So all the buildings during that time was like this. The best was like this. Yes. yes. So my father's house was like this. The family mm. house was like this. And then um, I built uh, the clinic recently. Mm. Yeah, polyclinic um, with, a, with a theater, with S3, children's ward, me ward, uh, treatment room, lab. It is there right now. You know, so I did that one too. Okay, so welcome to Bonama Polyclinic, a facility being put up by. Katapako Company Limited. Okay. Okay. So Being put up as in? As in it was built and then furnished by Katapako You mean everything company. here? Everything you see around is from Katapako Company Limited. Not from the government? No. And the latest one that I did was the police station, you know. So there's something they call life sustainability. Mm. What can sustain life, you know? One. How to get communication? You see, the, 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 there's internet here, right? Yeah. 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 It's through me that I, I brought the small internet, the small one, they call it um, Royal Setup, a small, yeah. the short one. Yeah. yeah. So recently, I went to do my network, and the, 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 the big one, the long one, the MTM pool, I mean, came operational about almost two, two when I came here, mm. when I came there, my yeah. last time, about one and a half years ago. Then they, they also put the the signals on. So when you go in my house, see that you can get very good, very MTN. good, empty and very, very good, and you can get the data. Everything is in my house now because it's true that they, they brought, brought uh, this in here. 
you managed to get these transformers in here? I, I didn't do it myself. So through my contacts. Contacts, you were able to uh, get them. Through my contacts, just like um, the MTN. MTN. So I didn't build it. Yeah. Me. I just spent it, it one penny on it. Yeah. That's through my contacts, it that's why they came they to build, came this, to build one. this one. Because this one, the, the old one, was okay. only for this village. village uh -huh. But this one is going to the other communities. Yeah. Okay. Very soon, this place will be a tourist site. Yeah. Where people will come and see uh, where Dr. Kobena J grew up. You don't think it's going to happen soon? No. Um, I did my I did a human job for the village, and then when I build the, the when I build the the clinic, yeah. because my elder sister Alain died when he was giving birth. My elder, elder sister I didn't I didn't see her, so at least at the point I said I don't want anybody to also to go through that pain. That's why I I built a clinic. I put ambulance hmm. there, you know, so that those around this area. Around that, that there's um, communication, right? Like if you are sick, just call the hot line, you know, and they'll come and take you, to take the ambulance to bring you here, you know. But I believe the government should also assist, you know, to make the road, you know, passable. They, they are not assisting? For now, no. For now, no. That, that, that is my dream, you know, so that those uh, um, that around this area, you know, they can use the ambulance, right? So I've been to the government, but they are not, they, for now. They're not listening. They, they, they promise, but you know, they promise, you no, know, don't to keep sipping the post. But uh, my dream was to make that place very, very vibrant. I even reserved some room, not this place, in my old house. I'm talking to some American doctors, uh, doctors with our bodies. Yeah. So that they can come here to assist. Hey, what was your design? Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want the place to be a very nice, uh, very busy uh, village, you know, where we can the center of the, the, the village. That's why right now, the whole, I mean, feeling the streets. I, I want sorry, to. Sorry, I'm maybe really central. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm maybe really central. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe really central. Uh -huh. The only polyclinic is uh, the one at Bonyama. And I built it. If I say I, not Kwabrenji, but anyway, through Kesapreko. So Kesapreko also did the, the toilet facility with flashing facility. We are even yet to commission it. Probably you commission it this week, you know, where for the first time, everybody who comes here will go and have a so where you can flash and then we have done biogas. Yeah. So that the biogas, we're trying to see if we can use even the gas to do so, something later on. So that's how it is. This is used to be the toilet that the villagers use, and they still use it. It's not like they're not using it anymore. They still use it and decided to transform what you're seeing right now to what is over there. I'm very busy. You don't think a man like this needs to be celebrated? I have been there before. I mean, this that he's talking about, it's not like we're making it up, but I've lived a life like this before, where you just go squat, do your thing, and you don't even have tea roll or paper. You use the bushes, scrub your and then you go back home. This is a cemetery, a blue cemetery. Yeah. So that is my major challenges. But the, 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 the most serious one is the, the police quarters, especially you know, the nurses quarters. Nurses quarters. And because how they come, they go. How they come, they go. And uh, you know, they, they, they touch houses. They, they most of them are from Takrade. Mm. Uh -huh. So they for you from Takrade to this place and they come all right, but they come and they cannot get accommodation. It's not their fault. Not even they are prepared to stay anywhere, but they, don't, they can't have it. You know, it looks as if uh, you have jumped uh, the gun. We quickly build all this without, without infrastructure. Yeah. And I, I, I can also not accommodate all of them. Yeah. So I, I gave my house uh, and um, <coughs> finish it for a medical doctor. The nurses you have to find your own. Uh, accommodation, but even the one to rent, is it, are it 20 cities a month or uh, 50 cities a month? They can't even, you can't even get it to rent. Uh -huh. You can't get something like this. No, it's full. Everybody, oh, uh, 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 oh, hire man, oh, hire man, oh, hire man. I'm the man I hear about, I don't know, so that's a problem. 
So it's a strategy I was talking of. It's food, right? Security, communication, medicals, right? Uh -huh. And ed education. You have these things in your village. If you're in Tamar Accra and I'm, I'm here. There's no difference. There's no difference. Uh -huh. Because we have the you have a professional doctor here. See, yeah. A medical doctor, a full medical doctor here from Kakurade, uh, from Kanta. You know, yeah. So if you, go, if you are sick there, you go and see. Because you have a theater here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a full fledged theater here. So you can make surgery here. Yeah, you have an extra department here. Mm -hmm. So if you have all this in the village, apart from the road, then I don't see why right. I should be in Accra, especially once I have retired, I have retired from my business so that I should eat and sleep. Oh. And with my, 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 my uh, old age. He told me that he's starting his own poetry. He's going to rear pigs. He's going to rear goats and sheep. And I'm like, what about fishes? Because someone like you need fishes. Not knowing he has his fish pond. Absolutely right now. Uh, you can go for fishing, catch and eat. Like, let, let, let's, let's do this one. Mm -hmm. You catch, you eat what you catch. Let's go. Oh, I, I'm, I'm ready. Yes. Okay. So we we'll give you next. If you don't catch, you are not eating. You, you are not eating. <laughs> <laughs> this is like catch and eat. <laughs> Interesting. See, old age. They call it the golden age. You know, people retire. But if you retire and you sit down and eat and uh, sleep, you are killing yourself. You are killing your brains. brains. So for me, that's why man is to help the community. So I build a kingdom hall. You can see it here. Yeah. You know, kingdom hall, I think, from here. So that uh, I believe in God. Yes. Whatever you do, for me, that's, that's my belief. Hmm. Yes. I believe that all this that I passed through, there, there might be something behind it. Uh, and also, I believe that there's life, life at a death. Because the Bible says that, you know, um, at the point, God will raise both the living and the death. You know, that's why Jesus Christ also raised Lazarus. You know, when, when he was there for three or four days, right? Mm, yeah. To show you that what he has done today can be done tomorrow. Because somebody, the person who died for three days, four days, was able to raise him up. So we tell you that when you die, he can raise you. You doubt it? No. You done it before? Uh -huh. That's how I believe in. You see, and the Bible too, if you use the Bible too, you know, to guide you, yeah. right? You know, it's treating your, 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 your path. Because, see, don't go and take somebody's wife. You know? Because you can take somebody's wife. Yeah. Nobody will see you. Yeah. Right? But God, far for God, just like camera. Hmm. He sees everything. He sees everything. So if you're true, 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 of or servant of God, we don't go and do that, you know. So that one also guided me a lot, you know, in doing what I'm doing, you know, because I believe that um, it is God who gives, you know. Yes. So if He gives you, why also don't He give you somebody? It's real to see people who have built an empire going back to live the place that they started from and that mm, inspires me a lot because i feel like i'm talking about living in accra living in accra because if you make it just living in accra and go back to your village once in a while but you're living here with the people i mean it's so real to see people like you oh yeah because, because when 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 we are not we don't have that humility you can't come back can't come down if you don't have humility you have to be humble right yeah because you have to come to the level of Everyone. the villagers. Yeah. Ah, you see, they, they tell me everybody say, hey, hey, right, right now. Uh -huh. So, um, we don't have to come here with that sort of ego. Right there. Yeah. I am rich. Then nobody come to you. So if you are rich and nobody is coming to you, what, what's the value of your richness? Uh -huh. do, you know? do you think humility is born with it or you learn it? For me, for me the, I mean, I would say that I was born with that. To me, I would say that I was born with it. I'm humble from, from the beginning. Mm. Yes. And then, you know, as you are becoming successful, right, that's the danger. You don't take care, uh, you know, um, 
your, your success go into your, your yeah. mind, you know, and that's where you, you disregard everybody, you know. Success, that doesn't mean that you are the most intelligent person in the world, but for a bet that you are successful, that doesn't mean the other people are stupid, you know. Uh -huh. so, 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 that's how it is. Even if you are successful, you should be able to connect with the those uh, below you. Uh -huh. you know, yeah, so that's how it is. There is something that you said that I would love to um, hear from you again. What about giving? Because I realized that even we just met your friend who you said he gave him money to uh, what do you call it? Uh, buy the roofing, buy the roofing sheet. sheet. This was the school. The school that you but, changed the roofing sheet? No, no, no. That, that was, it was, a, it was a mad house. Oh. Uh, so later on, the government came to build the school. You know, after the, the mad house, uh, that our roof, you know, our roof uh, collapsed. Then the government came to do uh, oh, this, this, uh, 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 this one. I think this, I don't know where it's about 12 years, 15 years. So this, this man, this target that I would like to come and help them we can rehabilitate it, other paint it, you know. Well, what inspired you to start a herbal farm in here? Well, um, this is uh, about um, backwards integration. What integration? Backwards integration, you know. Backwards integration is where you you manufacture or provide your own raw materials for production. You know, I like a like this. You know, you do a, a gas, right? A CO2. Yeah. You use it. You do um, caps. You know, so so you plant the herbs so that you yes. come here to I, I harvest our plant parts instead of going to buy from other other sources, right? Yeah. So that's why we do this. I started about almost ten years ago. Oh, how many acres? Um, one, one hundred, about two, three hundred acres. About two hundred acres. Wow. Yes, it's a, it's a big land. It's a huge land. You know, yes. what are, what it, are, goes, it goes, it goes, 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 goes. What are kind of plants that you plant in here? We have about almost uh, ten species of uh, herbs here. You have prekese. Yeah. The prekese is here. What again? And the britum. The So yeah. So the alumo, alumo, bitters. Bitters. Yes. This, let's say. The source of the Anubitas, um products, you know, because in, in the I know that some years back, yeah, Ghana was well versed in timber timber plants, right? So at a point in time, is that way extent now can't get timber again. So right now, the, the main source of companies' income is from the Anubitas, you know. So let's say in about twenty years time, what about if the herbs? Oh, no. uh, animal. How do you get the herbs? You may have to go and use organic, uh, uh, inorganic, uh, synthetic materials. A lot of people are using synthetic and pass it off as organic. Mm. Uh, so this, you see it from your own, from oh. the owner, that we have our own forest where we're going to harvest uh, our plants oh. to build our limobitis and other, other herbal plants, or herbal products. I feel like you're a visionary leader. Because um, without vision, you get lost. Any, any human being without vision, you get lost. Right? So that's why some people get stuck. They go in the circle, it's called a rat race, right? Mm -hmm. But these things, for me, I, I, I am an old man, right? I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for future generation. Uh, so if generational thinking, you don't think for yourself, but what you can do for the, for the future, right? Not for me and myself. I feel like when it comes to a generational wealth, it really does not exist in this part of the world. Oh, well. I, I, I've seen the Lebanese transfer their wealth to their next generation, but I, I don't know how many the, companies the, the, that the, I can the Jews, count. Yeah. Do it a lot. Yeah. The Indians are doing a lot. Exactly. You know, yeah. so, but I mean, so at a point, you have to start somewhere. So if the Lebanese are not doing, are doing it and you are not doing it, you have to start somewhere. Do you think generational wealth is something that Africans should look into? It's very important. It's very important because you, you pass on 
you say like, like a root, you know, you pay the, you, you made a path, mm. and then your generation will uh, definitely go uh, to the path, you know. Yeah. So for me, I um, as a as a family head, I'm reading for my family, mm. my immediate family, and also even my extended family. family. So I, I'm taking good care of my, I'm taking care of my family members' edu education. Yeah. Every member, I didn't tell you yesterday, every member mm -hmm. from my clan, mm -hmm. you know, who qualifies for university education, mm. I sponsor him or her, you know, so that, that you get a base of your, your clan, you know, my, my children, I'm doing the same thing, my grandchildren, I'm doing the same thing, you know, I set up a fund, for my grandchildren, Whoa. An educational fund, yes, all of them have got it, you know, so that when do we reach 18 years that they go to the university level, right? Yeah, whether their father have money or not, their grandparents have already set up the fund for them. So that's what the Jews are doing. So if, if you're a kid and you go to school, already the fund is not a limitation. It's down to your head. Uh -huh. And that's what, it, that's what most people don't, don't do. You know, you don't look at yourself. You look for the future. What can you do to the future? I was telling you about the, the shadow. Yeah. You know, whatever you do, the shadow, the shadow follows you. What are you living on Legacy. this earth? By, by all means, there will be a time that you'll be old. You can't, you can't walk. There will be a time that you leave this temporary world. You die, right? But what are you living before, before you go, before you die? I, when I came here, mm -hmm. we set up about five-year development plan for the village. You know, where we said, okay, we do a school, we do a police station, we do a clinic, right? And a bank is coming here very soon. Yesterday they were here. You know, a, a small uh, bank is coming here, so where the cocoa farmers can easily go and uh, deposit their money, you know. Um, also inspire, uh, um, I mean, keeping money mm. and not spending it. Because the money is with you. The tendency that you can spend it is very easy, but you know, if you bank at the bank, you know, yes. Yeah, so, so that's why I'm helping the villagers to set up a bank, small bank. Apart from the bank, then there should be a market. Mm. If there's a market, then I think uh, our five-year development plan almost, right now we have achieved almost about 70%, you know, uh, of, of what, what you set up to do. You know, so a few things. But for me, uh, personally, the most important thing for me is the road. Uh -huh. right. I mean, the road leading to the village and yeah. the surrounding uh, villages, the communities. Uh -huh. That's all. Because, um, like I said, uh -huh. we have a clinic, we have a police station, we have a bank, you know. We need the road uh -huh. connectivity. The road, yes. Get good schools, good teachers, you know, so that those who be working here, you know, don't have to send their kids to uh, Takrade or Takwa. You know, when I, when I build the family house, yeah. for my family, not my children, Man, you, eh? That's the extended family. I'm the head of the Biana family, hmm. right? I'll show you the old building that I came to inherit. Heard. But so, you said there's a family house. It's a family house. But do you call him that is a family house? It's a family house, yes. I know, like, you're so modest. That's a family castle. Okay, a uh, family house, because we had it before. <laughs> we had it before. We had it before. And you were growing up, um, when I saw the, the ceiling, yeah. uh, the TNG that they did about 150 years ago, mm. I said, wow, you know, and that inspires me also to do something for the generation. Yes. I was so inspired by my forefathers, you know. They had a, they, I thought they had a lot of wealth, but uh, because I came to meet the good ornaments, a lot of good ornaments, an ornament, a lot, yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. So I believe the family in general was rich, but along the line, you know, they lost it. They, they lost it. Uh -huh. So right now, I'm not doing the gold, but at least as for the building, uh, I'm doing it for them. So that just in case you are from our clan, mm. from Accra, mm. when you come, mm. you come to your grandfather, grandfather's house. And they, if you know you are okay, I'll give you a place to sleep. That's why I have about so many rooms, you know. How many rooms do you have in there? Uh, 25. 25 rooms in total. Right, yeah. You know what uh, I, well, Do I need 25 rooms? No, I don't no. need 25 rooms. Why should I put a 25 room uh, yeah. building? No, I don't need that. It's, it's, not, it's a useless thing to do, right? And because of the family. See, so something happened here. Mm. Let's say a student um, has graduated from a law school, yeah. want to celebrate the person, not my son, right? 
but from our clan. You know, we have a small party for the person, you know, and then the family members will come from various after her, yeah, so they come and meet here. You know, so that's that's why we're doing that. And this is it's, I'm not I'm not starting it. You know, let's say if somebody dies, funeral, mm -hmm. they comes. When you come, I remember when my, my, my mother died, right? We had to sleep in the open on the on the on the on the, on the, on the, on the park. Oh. Open. You know, that time it was a small village. I, you know, um, have not been able to do such a thing. So, but now because of that experience, why don't you prepare yourself for the rainy day? That's why talking about the roots. Even the blacks are, they are coming. Yeah. They are brought from the diaspora. Uh, they are coming back to Actually. their roots. Some of them are coming. So the same thing. Yeah. I don't want to lose my family members. You know. So they, they are coming, and that's why I'm taking care of them in their ed education. You know. So that's why I, I talk about, about generational wow. um, thinking. Right. Yes. Not for you alone, but for wow. the future. So which means and then, that. And then I did this thing. Eh? This mm. from the house. Eh? Yeah. And. Uh, I don't want to mention names. Some, some of my friends said, you're still doing the same thing. So one, one called me. They come to see this, see this one here. So I'm also doing something for my family. They've yeah. been inspired? So, yes, yeah, so, yes. About three people said, so I'm doing the same thing. You know, and I know a certain a high uh, government official in this government who said, I'm still going back to my village. The yeah, lady says, I don't want to mention their names. So I'm going back to my village to do the same thing that we are doing. So this, you take inspiration from each, each, each other. That's it, sure. So, do you believe that it takes a village to raise a child? Definitely, yeah, because you, you, you start to sell a um, little drop, little drop of uh, water. Oh, it's, much 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 so it's, a, it's a small, humble beginning, you know. Yeah. So, and the whole thing is about um, the discipline. Mm. Discipline. You know, you have to discipline, discipline yourself. You're mm. talking about um, mm. uh, being successful. Mm. You know. So, if you have the flair for success, you know, and you have to rest it, we are, we are fortunate. Uh, you read there. Yeah. So, does it mean that anyone can be successful? I believe so. I believe so. It's about, about, about the determination. It doesn't matter where you're born? No, 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 no. No, it doesn't matter where, where you're born. It's, it's about, see, I think uh, this thing about um, success, right? Mm -hmm. If you, are, if you are poor, or if you are born in a very poor environment, it's just like you are being put in a hole, you know, a hole. But if you are, if you are determined, you cannot remain in the hole forever, you know. You have to come up, struggle to come up. That the struggle is what most of us are not able to struggle to come up. So we are born in the, in the hole, we stay in the hole and die in the, in the hole. hole. Your children will also come. They are born in the hole, they die in the hole, then their children come in. Then you call the right race. You know, right race. You are going round, 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 round. You know, so um, you need to struggle to come up. Uh -huh. You need to struggle to come up. And that just struggle is yourself, not me. Everybody individual. That's a hand. Nobody can raise, hold your hand and bring you up. It's you. It's a, it's, that's why it's a mental attitude, right? <laughs> Mr. Ghana.